Guys, remember to stay tuned all the way to the end of this video to see how you can save 150 bucks. I know squat, I know squat. Man, I love that commercial from Maryland. I know squat. Hey, Dustin back with another good DG's TV episode here. This one we're going to focus more on some product knowledge again. We go back and forth with a lot of our topics. Airlift is an amazing product that we love selling and pushing here at DG's Protect. Why? Because it's a product that works really, really well. Now there are competitors out there. I'm just focusing on Airlift specifically and we're an authorized installer and distributor for them here at DG's Protect. So you've got a modern automobile. Automobile. It might be a truck, car, SUV, and you notice maybe you put lots of weight in the back. Maybe you tow a trailer with it, whatever the case may be, and you notice that the back end of your car <laughs> squats. Why are these bad things when driving? Well, there's a lot of reasons that, that squat is bad. One, you bottom out and hurt your suspension. Two, you get lots of body roll when you're driving, which makes it a little harder to control. You know, even down to the point that if your car is squatted like this, headlight aim. Um, things like that all affect. So what do we do with that? Well you could increase your spring tension or spring load. That would bring the back end of the vehicle up. But then when you take all the weight out, you got a you know, bunch of bricks or groceries or all kinds of camping stuff or a trailer. Now the back end's high and it rides like a lumber wagon, you know, for, for lack of a better term. That's no fun. We still want to ride good. OEMs have done a great job over the years on their higher end models, adding some form of air suspension. Transport trucks for years have always used air suspension or airbag springs, air springs if you will, as their only form of suspension for load carrying changes in that and they can adjust them on the fly. That's the beauty of air springs. Lots of spring tension when you need it, just a decent amount when you don't need it. That's the beauty of it. So my POP is terrible from Airlift and Airlift if you're listening to this video you need some better POP. DGs would gladly help you out with that and take care of that. So I'm going to use the crappy display that we get sent and I'm calling them out on that just for, for intense purposes. But the neat thing is that they show us in our displayer, this is the picture of an air spring in their system with the basic geometry if it was just a leaf spring pickup, which is the majority of their push of their market. So if you can picture your leaf spring, and we'll show you on a vehicle in a second here, um, that is your leaf spring and we simply bolt an air spring on top of it. So now we have adjustability. Well, here's a perfect example of a customer driving with his his big truck and he's got the humongous probably two, 3,000 pounds of an SUV or a side-by-side -side on top of it and he's pulling a trailer, he's probably got some decent tongue weight, yet he's sitting level, which means that truck's gonna drive properly because he's got some form of airlift air spring. A couple things you need. First and foremost, you need to know what spring to buy. Well, that's where DG's comes in, but I'll give you a couple of examples of what they've got. Their smallest ones started the Airlift 1000 to the Airlift 1000 HD, so these will start at an extra 1,000 pounds ability of, of spring rate. We go up to the ride control, this is where we start jumping into uh, half ton truck territory. Um, your, your F-150s and 1500s, they go up to 2,000 pounds. They still mount similar on top of leaf spring where these may actually mount inside a coil spring. So if you're coil spring, hey, we got you there too. Then we jump up to the classic ones that really put them on the map, the Load Lifter 5000. They've also got the 5000 Ultimate, which comes with an internal jounce bumper, or bump stop if you will. The 5000 Ultimate Plus, which is now all stainless steel construction. So if you live in a salt area like we do here in Listowel, Ontario, that will help you from making this thing last a whole lot longer. And then the Big Daddy, the 7500 XL. This is for the big guys with 4500 and 5500 trucks where they need to have an extra potential of 7500 pounds of spring capacity underneath the vehicle. Most customers with half ton, three quarter tons towing RVs, fifth wheel campers, goosenecks will live in this 5,000 pound range. If you're in a half ton, you're gonna live down this range and DGs will help you make that appropriate decision. How does the system work? Again, I'll show you in the truck in a second, but basically it's like a bicycle tire, okay? You'll have a Schrader valve mounted somewhere there and you just hook the same fitting you would to fill your tire right onto that and up she goes. You set it, you can use the same tire gauge you use for your bicycle. Anywhere from, again, minimum 5 PSI, because you want to make sure that bag stays inflated, up to 100 PSI, and I will tell you, I've pushed it beyond that. Shh, don't tell them, and it handles more than that too. These are really well-built belted bags, okay? Um, what if you want to do more than that though? I don't want to have to stop and get a compressor out or get my bicycle pump, that's no good. Well, we've got options beyond that too. Once you've got your bag chosen, 
Then we can choose a onboard air system. Whether or not we go to the basic load controller or their wireless one, which is brand new, the new wireless air or the wireless one 2.0, and then even adding smart air. So what those look like, example shown here, this is your old school load controller that have been around with Airlift and other competitors for years. We get a gauge installed. There is a compressor installed somewhere external to the vehicle. Up goes up and the gauge comes up and you let off your button. You've got the pressure or the height you need. Down goes down and you can control left and right with a gauge like this. Um, and, and that's basic. Downsides, we actually have to plumb this gauge with the actual airline into the vehicle. Okay, a lot more uh, installation room we need. Good spot to mount a unit like this. Where do you find room in today's modern vehicles? You don't want to tear up your interior. That's the downside, but pro, it's cheap, it's reliable, it's mechanical, okay? Moving up from that, their next one is, this is shown here. This is the Wireless One Air Controller, and this is their just basic 1.0 version, okay? This will control one bag. You see it power up there. It says 30 PSI. It's showing connectivity to the compressor in the vehicle or the manifold that controls it, and we simply go up and down with those arrows to set a desired set point, and up and down it goes. The compressor comes on, sets the airbags to what they need to be, and life is good. I'm gonna also show a supplemental video from a customer we just finished last week that has the 2.0 version, which controls individual left to right bags. Beautiful new controller on that system as well. Then you get one step beyond that. Hey, there's that compressor coming on for a second. I'm gonna show you guys the new app they've also got with Wireless One. So if you've got a system that uses the wireless controller, and this is meant to just clip on your vent, uh, your, uh, your visor guys, then you've also got the ability to download their app. As you're showing the catalog there, the app on your phone, this is now your controller, okay? You can up, down, you can control set points. You can have like pressures preset, you know, maybe five PSI is for empty, you know, maybe 40 PSI is for your, your gooseneck when it's unloaded or RV, whatever the case may be. And this is a beautiful thing because everybody loves connectivity in apps. Now, quick conversation about compressors. Airlift has two styles of compressors. This is their standard duty compressor, which comes in all of your standard duty uh, wireless air setups. They also have a heavy duty version, which I don't have shown here. And basically they're exactly that, standard duty versus heavy duty. Now, beauty with Airlift is warranty as well. You know, you wanna mount these in a location where they're not gonna live in obviously moisture, you wanna keep it away from that. They also have easy mount controller systems as well, where they just have a basic U-bolt that can go around a frame rail, something like that. But basically, the manifold that controls pressure up and down, which is directly gonna bring pressure out of this compressor into a manifold and then directly into the bag. It just has a little a little 12 volt operating compressor inside. They're all contained nice and out of the way. So I'm gonna show you here on a vehicle what that looks like to give you an idea, show you the ease of operation so you have that load control you need for your vehicle. All right, so airlift on vehicle now. So you can see the real world side of it. So you look in this vehicle, now this is our shop truck and it is equipped with the Airlift Load Lift 5000. Okay, so that also is the ultimate, I believe. It has the jounce bumper in it. I have to check my part numbers. Now, the neat thing about this is this is a 2017 truck. It, by the way, it's fall of 2020 here. Um, so that's been on three years in a salt area. This truck gets used all winter long. You can see really the age and the wear is pretty good. Now, I did mention lifetime warranty with Airlift. The beauty is have it installed by an Airlift dealer like ourselves and you've got lifetime warranty. That bag ruptures due to normal use, we're gonna mail you a new bag. Or you're gonna come in and we're gonna install the new bag. Now there are limited limit limitations on that, so see us as your dealer for the direct information, but typically you're covered, okay? So this bag system does have a Schrader valve. I'll typically we'll move the Schrader valve up into the gas door area or to the bumper area, depending on application. And as you see, here's your leaf spring design in this truck. There's a bit of bracketry. The bracketry is all custom for application. It sits right in the factory bump stop location in this vehicle. Simply pump it up for more spring, air it down for less spring. Compressor system on this truck is mounted as well. We don't want to mount it back here. It's mounted up further. And then we'll show you the wireless controller on this vehicle as well. I'll show you how easy it is for you to use it once it's installed. All right, so you're almost done. You've got your wireless system picked out with DG Sales help. You know what system you need for what your application you're gonna tow or you're gonna try and load level with. Um, you've got everything hooked up, or I should say we've got everything hooked up. You wanna know how to work it though, right? How easy is this thing to use? Well, if you've got the wireless one system, which is the uh, smart air system, so we don't have a gauge inside here, which is the easiest, 
you could easily have it on your Android or, or Apple phone here. This is showing the current PSI in my bags and connected. It's got some set points here I can set to whatever I want. It's a really easy to use la or app, but basically show you some quick operation here. I'm at 32 PSI, obviously. I want to be at 40. Locks in. Compressor kicks in. Up we go. Says even my current pressure as it's going up gets to the pressure point I want. Levels out, shuts off. Now, I'm now loaded and towing, but I unloaded my load and I don't want to sit butt high. I, I want this thing to ride good. Let's let some pressure out. After it locks in, pressure comes out, it levels out as need be. It's just that simple. Truck's not even on, guys. The system will go to sleep after so many hours so it doesn't drain your battery. Now, if you're not tech savvy, like I'm sure my father isn't as I'm calling him out in this video, you're just gonna have your simple visor clip controller. Clips right there, works identical. Push the button, it comes on. It'll override the app if you do have the app open. It's gonna show me my pressure. It's gonna go up and down from that. And there's also your set points. Set point one and two, I'm showing I'm at 20 PSI. This will likely kick in, drop my pressure down to that, and away we go. So the two controllers won't fight each other. There it goes there. They're working in conjunction together, but it's just that simple. No messy wires, no messy gauges. Easy to use, Bluetooth connectivity. It's just that simple. Now, I'll finish up showing how you save money. So everybody remembers those days when we were all young kids. Now, I'm still a young kid at heart, and I used to love getting the free stuff out of the cereal box, right? You had to cut off that cardboard UPC code. Well, Airlift is a beauty company. I love how they've kept it simple. You want to save some money on your Airlift system, this is the way you do it. So you've decided you want a compressor system, and maybe you do or don't want the onboard air because you can still fill it up manually. But you can save 75 bucks on a mail-in rebate, just like that old cereal box, and another 75 bucks on so one for airbag one for compressor so you decide i'm just an airbag guy i'm just going to fill it up with schrader valve i'm a contractor it's going to stay at one pressure 90 percent of its life we're going to do just the air compressor and we're going to install it that's the checkpoint if we install it with professional install you know your coverage warranty we will cut off this upc code we will fill out said form and we'll even mail it for you and then you're going to get 75 dollar rebate because it was installed by us now don't have it installed by us, rebate doesn't count. Decide you wanna also go with a compressor, built-in compressor system, regardless of what compressor system. You're gonna save another 75 bucks for a total of 150 for those that are real good at math. Same thing, we gotta cut the UPC off the back, we fill it all out, we mail it in, and you get some money in a few weeks. So that's the beauty of it, guys. Airlift makes it so simple. DG's ProTech makes the install so simple. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call here at DD's ProTech. Make sure if you got any comments on this video, you're hitting us up on one of our social media platforms or picking up that good old phone and calling us. Here in Listowel, Ontario, DG's ProTech on Facebook, Instagram, Google, 519-418-AUTO. Give us a call and we'll set you up with a great airlift system for your vehicle.